Hello and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Um, I have put this um, fix off for over two and a half years now. And I don't know why. It's, it's, it's an easy job. Um, but it's getting to the point now that I have to do something. So let me uh, bring you in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's the brackets on the uh, barn doors for the wardrobe. Uh, they're loose. Uh, this one's completely stripped out. These bottom ones... There's nothing in here, so they're just into paneling. Uh, there is a support probably about right here that comes across for the frame for the mirror. But uh, this needed to be another inch longer. So we're going to take it apart and put it back together. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking me so long to do this. I just ordered the uh, screws here a couple weeks ago, so let me show you what I'm using. First off, I'm using a T-nut. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, I'm using a T-nut. They have these little uh, claws that dig into whatever uh, you're putting it into. And they call these furniture screws. They are a quarter by 20 by inch and a quarter, I think. I didn't want them coming out the back. And they are at Allen Drive and black and then i'm using a little longer quarter by 20 screw so i can bring everything together then when i put it up there i can put the uh, black bolts in okay the other thing i'm using is uh loctite i'm gonna put loctite on the bottom screws just because there's nothing in there for it to smash into and you have to watch uh how tight you make that you can pull that t-nut right through that paneling so Let's get this uh, door off and uh, we'll get it fixed and come back up. Okay, I'm centering the door with the uh, guide that's on the bottom to help hold it. It's in the center. So we won't get too much pivot. Yeah, that'll help hold it in while we uh, get it out. So. And really, this last screw is, I think this is the only one I haven't retightened. Okay, now we slide these off to the side. Take the door out. And then we can take the uh, brackets out. Okay, since I'm using a uh, quarter inch bolts, these holes aren't big enough, so I'm going to go in the shed and a vise and drill these out, and I'll come right back. Okay, I got the uh, holes drilled out in the brackets. I went with a quarter inch. Um, I didn't step up a 64th or a 32nd. I wanted a nice uh, fit on a screw. I didn't want no play in these. Okay, so the next uh, step is I'm going to drill these holes out. Okay, I don't know if the dealer did it or Alliance did it, but I actually have two sets of holes here. And there's actually three sets of holes here. So now we want to make sure we keep the your drill level as you're going in. Okay, that's one. And then I'm actually going to go with this other screw because it's a little lower. Now, I haven't cleaned in here since we got back from uh, the Ohio... Uh, Alliance rally or else I'd be taking this outside and doing this. I, I got to clean everything. So anyway, all right, we got those drilled out. Next thing I want to do is these T-nuts are bigger because the quarter inch bolt has to go in. So you need a bigger hole on the other side. Now I did drill these out for quarter inch. So on the back side where I drilled through, I have a 5 16 inch bit. I'm going to drill in. I'm just going in about a half inch. Uh, let's get this drilled out. And this is all fake wood, so it drills uh, real quick. But let me make this one a little bit deeper, I think. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so next thing you want to do is you want to take your uh, T-nut put on the back side and I'm putting it in 
there's three spikes here. So I'm putting it in like this with the two spikes on the top and one on the bottom. So we're going to put that in. Well, it's a tight fit. That's what you want. And then I'm going to take my bracket. It doesn't matter which one for right now. And I'm going to take the uh, long, the inch and a half screw and start that in there. Hopefully it hits. And let's see if it caught. Yeah, we caught. Okay. So now we want to take this in. All right, so next thing I want to do, I want to try and get a square on here if you can. And that's actually pretty good. All right, now, now that I have the bracket on here tightened down, I'm going to drill through. And once again, try to stay level with the door so your holes, both sides of your holes aren't off. And I'm going to do a 5 16 on this side. Now, it probably been good if I would have grabbed two of these longer bolts, but oh well. So we'll just throw a black one in here to hold it in place while we get everything going. Okay, and same thing here. You want to put the T-nut in the back. And put the bolt in the front here. Hopefully everything caught. Now when you bring that in, that's going to pull that plywood in because there's there's absolutely nothing going across here. So be very careful when you take that in. Okay, let's take this out. I was going to go with um, people call them different names: through bolts, unisex bolts, bi binding post. And I was afraid the back of it would have uh, stuck out too far. I'll show you when we come over here. There's not much room between your frame and the door. And I was just afraid it would uh, come out more. This pulls into the wood a little bit better and it's a little flatter. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Then we'll get it hung up. All right, this is actually a, a do-over. I went and put everything on. I forgot to hit record. So I'm going to do it again. It'll be your first time, but I'm going to do it again. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to put my brackets up here. Then we'll get the door. And I'm setting it right on the center of that uh, guide down there. And you move these in, and that'll help hold it good thing Loctite doesn't set up fast we'll get one in here we're just going to snug this one a little bit a little bit more than that okay that's good and we'll get one over here. And same thing here. We're just going to snug it up. Okay, we're going to take our bolt with some uh, Loctite. You don't want any drops going on the floor or any place else you'll never get that red out i think i missed it let me see here yep i missed it that's a problem when it's hollow in there you gotta make sure you get that uh bolt right in where you need it i 
I think I'm there. Yep. Okay, so when you tighten these bottom ones down, you just want to pull the paneling in a little bit. And with that Loctite on there, that'll hold it. It shouldn't loosen up. And definitely, I'm tightening the top one real tight. So it's definitely not going to come loose. And let's get the other side in. Now, if you have bolts that are greasy, this Loctite will not work. Yeah, they're grease, greasy, oily or anything. Lo the Loctite won't stick to it. Okay, I'm going to call that one good. And we'll tighten up this top one. Okay, and that's it. That was, that was pretty easy. Um, I don't think I got to worry about tightening these up anymore. So, all right, I'm gonna bring you in a little closer and show you the gap. You see here? Yeah, I'll show you how big that gap is. What I mean about whatever you're using this, the head on the bolt or whatever it has to be pretty flush with the back of the door. Okay, that's the finished product. I think those are. Uh, furniture I think you call them furniture screws I don't know it's almost like a truss head but uh I think it looks nice rolls nice there's the uh guide I was talking about yeah then if you look up here I don't know how well you can see let me get a flashlight yeah you should be able to see a little bit better now there's not much room up there. I mean, I got maybe an eighth inch between the uh, T-nut and this, where we at? this piece. So I think the T-nut's the way to go. Okay, so I finally got these done after two and a half years. So now I'm going to work on the uh, barn door coming into the bedroom. Then all three will be uh, good and secured. I haven't had any trouble with these. It's just these ones. And I think... Either the dealer or Alliance had problems too, just because of the multiple holes. So hopefully this uh, helps somebody out. It was a nice, easy fix. Was, wasn't that hard. You don't have to take them outside if, if you don't want to. Just clean up your mess. All right. So once again, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.